Hello and welcome back to Tenipoi Actual Speaking. My name is Jennifer Clyde. It is time for Lesson 12. Are you ready? Today we'll be talking about sports. Now in Lesson 11 we talked about staying healthy, right? But today we'll focus on sports, activities you can engage in to become healthy. Now a uh, research showed that sports improve math skills in children. Did you know that? So sports is very, very important to adults and children alike. Now sports that involve aiming and hitting skills, for example, tennis or even baseball, it helps kids improve focus. They focus on same something, so it helps them focus. And also, uh, they help develop leadership. Also, sports that involve competition really helps children to learn about winning and losing Thus, they learn the aspects of life, failure and success. So we'll be talking about that today. Now, everyone, are you athletic? Are you good at sports or are you not athletic? Are you bad at sports? We'll be talking about sports today, so get ready. Let's get started. Now it's time for us to brainstorm some cues together and also for you to brainstorm cues of your own later on as well. But to give you some information about myself, when it comes to sports, I think I'm fairly athletic. Um, I'm not bad at sports, I think I'm pretty good at sports. Uh, when I was in school, middle and high school, I used to be on our school team. I used to play volleyball on our school team. I used to be on the cross country team. I played softball, which is very similar to baseball, and I was also on the soccer team. I was terrible at basketball though. Okay, let's brainstorm the cues together and let's begin with the five W's and how, as always. The first category we have is who. Now let's talk about who you play with, who you enjoy doing this activity with, which would be a sport activity, right? Do you do it by yourself? It can be an individual sport like golf or some other kinds of sports. Um, do you play with your friends or your team members if you are on a team? A soccer team, a basketball team, a baseball team. You can also talk about random people. Now I did mention something about golf. Of course you can go on your own and group up with people that you don't really know. So in that case you can say I play golf and I group up or team up with random people, people that you meet on the spot. So that's something you can mention or you may enjoy a sport with your family, right? Okay, let's move on to what. So what kind of sport are you going to talk about? We can talk about a team sport, which means, okay, you need a team to play the sport. What about individual sport? You can also talk about a winter sport or a summer sport. Focus on the season sport. In the winter, you can talk about how you enjoy skiing or snowboarding, right? And of course, you can talk about summer sports such as water skiing or wakeboarding, which is something I'm very interested in myself. All right, when do you play? Do you play the sport regularly? On the weekends, in the mornings, after work, in the evenings? Talk about the time of day and the number of days of the week you play the sport. You can also talk about since when you enjoyed engaging in the sport. Now, where do you play? Indoors, outdoors? Last time we talked about in open air, which means outside, outdoors as well. You can also talk about a field or a stadium, like a baseball field or a soccer stadium. Do you go to the mountains to enjoy the sport? Or do you go to the lake or ocean to enjoy the sporting activity? Now, why do you enjoy the sport? Is it competitive? Now, to compete means to play against someone. And if you say that a certain game, or if you say that you are competitive, it means that winning and losing, winning is very important to you. So if you say, I am competitive, in Korean it means, 저는 승부욕이 강합니다. You want to win all the time. So talk about that. Is it relaxing? Uh, is it stress relieving? Does it help you blow away stress, relieve stress? You can say that a sport is stress relieving. What about, is it thrilling? Yeah, like rafting is very thrilling. What about dynamic? It means that it's very powerful. It's exciting. 
dangerous, relaxing once again. Oh, there's a copy here. So relaxing, that's ones. And also to stay fit. Now, why do you enjoy the sport? To stay fit, to stay healthy. You can enjoy a sport, right? Moving on to how. How it's played. Yeah, give the details. It's all about giving the details. So, do you play with a ball? Do you play with a bat, as in baseball? Do you play with a club, as in golf? A golf club, right? What about a racket? Squash, racquetball, tennis, badminton? You all play with a racket. You can talk about that. Now, you can talk about nets and goals when it comes to sports or sporting gear and safety gear, okay? Now, gear basically is equipment, but please do pay attention. For example, you're talking about safety gear. We can talk about helmets or even, uh, I guess, knee pads or elbow pads to protect your head, your elbow, and your knees. But even when you're talking about more than one of these equipments, you always say safety gear, never safety gears, okay? So gear and equipment, usually they are not followed by an S. It's safety equipment and safety gear, never safety equipments or safety gears, never gears. Moving on, how? Now, how is it played? Oh, moving on to how often? Do you play it on a daily basis, meaning every day, or on a weekly basis or a monthly basis? So brainstorm these cues on your own and further on on your own or with a partner or in a group as well. Now, this is it for our brainstorming cues. Let's move on and listen to today's actual talk. Say, Rachel, I know you like to stay fit, but do you also like to watch sports? I love watching sports, actually. I'm really competitive, so when I'm watching sports like baseball or soccer on TV, mm -hmm. I'm up at the TV, come on, let's go, let's go, cheering on like that. Mm -hmm. Do you like to watch sports, or are you more of the kind of guy that likes to play sports, or both? Well, when I was young, I think we watched, as a family, we watched the football games uh, on the weekends. Yeah. But my team has never done well. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the Minnesota Vikings. Okay. Uh, they're always kind really of a disappointment. Know. So I stopped watching sports many years ago. Um, and I would much prefer to be on the field than, on than the sitting in front of a TV. Okay, I see. Yeah. That's cool. What kind of sports do you enjoy? I enjoy more individual sports than the team sports. Okay. Uh, I think it's harder to organize the team sports, but the main reason is probably that I enjoy time alone. Mm. Um, when I'm running, biking, or swimming, I can just really get into the zen uh, of the speed, the movement, right. and and quiet my mind, actually. Yeah, that's true. You know, something like running, I always found was such a mental sport. It's really, <laughs> you know, you have to be in the zone to do, uh, to run as far as you can, to have that endurance and things mm -hmm. like that. As and you me, liked rock, rock climbing, right? I do, but more than rock climbing, I actually really enjoy the team sports. I used to play field hockey in high school. Really? Yeah, and I loved it. And I just loved being on the I just, field. Don't check me right now. <laughs> <laughs> we don't check. It's a very graceful sport, too. You're not supposed really? to be that physical. Mm. It's not physical at all. But I really, really enjoy uh, playing field hockey and just playing as a team. That was my favorite part. So mm -hmm. it was really good. But... The reason why you can't really do a lot of team sports is, you said, because you're kind of busy all the time, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of nice to do that individual sport when you have time to go out and run and bike, like you said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in yoga, I used to be religious about doing yoga. Oh, really? Uh, Bikram, the hot yoga. Yeah. Uh, it really kind of helped me with my core and my winter training oh. for, uh, you know, summer activities. Yes. <laughs> So you did it religiously, you said? Yeah, for a few months in the winter, and uh, it really helped me out. You oh, should try yoga sometime. I want to try yoga. Now, through today's actual talk, we learned a bit more about Peter and Rachel. Now, what did they say? I think Peter, he used to engage in a lot of, uh, I guess, very exciting and active uh, sports, but nowadays, I think he's more into meditation. Uh, sports that he can enjoy alone, right? Such as yoga. What about Rachel? She did say that she really enjoyed playing on a team, a team sport when she was younger. And even now, I think she's a very, very active person. 
So let's take a look at the actual talk line by line. All right. Now Peter said, say, Rachel, say. Why is it say there? He's saying, hey, Rachel. Hey, say, Rachel. He's about to ask a question. He says, I know you like to stay fit, but do you also like to watch sports? He's not asking about playing sports. He's talking about watching sports. Now, what did she say? She said, I love watching sports, actually. I'm really competitive. Remember this word? We were brainstorming cues. This comes from the word to compete. And to be competitive means that you want to win. Okay, you are very aggressive when you play a certain sport. Now, so she says, so when I'm watching sports like baseball or soccer on TV, you watch sports on TV, right? She's up at the TV saying, come on, let's go, let's go, right? She's cheering them on. She is rooting for the team, okay? So she says, let's go, cheering on like that. Cheer on, to root for someone means to go, yeah, uanada, right? Okay, so she says, do you like to watch sports or are you more of the kind of a guy that likes to play sports or both? So here's a question. She is basically asking him, do you like to watch sports? Do you like to play sports? Or do you enjoy doing both, playing and watching? Now, Peter answered, well, when I was young. He's talking about the past. When I was young, I think we watched, as a family, we watched the football games on the weekends. But, okay, but my team has never done well. I guess they always lost, right? And he says, it's the Minnesota Vikings. Remember, Peter is from Minnesota, so on the weekends he would root for. He would cheer for the Minnesota Vikings with who? With his family. He would watch the games on television. Now, he says, they're always kind of a disappointment. Why did he say they're a disappointment? They, in this case, are, of course, the Minnesota Vikings. And he's saying they're always kind of a disappointment because they tend to lose all the time. They lost many, many times. So he says, so I stopped watching sports many years ago. And I would much prefer to, he's talking about his preference, what he likes to do, be on the field than sitting in front of a TV. So he's comparing the two. He prefers A to B. So he wants to be outside, actually engaging in the sport rather than sitting in front of a TV and watching the game, okay? Moving on. Now, of course, Rachel says, okay, that's cool. And she asks, what kind of sports do you enjoy? Let's find out what Peter said. He said, I enjoy more individual sports, sports that you can enjoy on your own and not necessarily with a team or on a team. And he says, then team sports. So the two kinds of sports are individual sport and a team sport. He says, the main reason is probably that I enjoy time alone. So he enjoys time alone. Hmm, I kind of do too, yeah. And he says, when I'm running, biking, or swimming, I can just really get into the zen of the speed the movement, and quiet my mind, actually. Now, we've got a lot of information here. Let's take a look one more time. He says, when I'm running, okay, biking or swimming, what can he do? He can really just get into the Zen of something. Now, Zen basically comes from uh, a religion. It's all about meditating, really focusing on something. So he says that he can focus on the speed on the movement. And what else can he do? He can quiet his mind. What does that mean, mind? But you can quiet one's mind. You could calm one's mind. It means to be at peace, feel relaxed, okay? So here's a sentence one more time. When I'm running, biking, or swimming, I can really, or I can just really get into the zen of the speed, the movement, focus on the speed and movement, and relax my mind and quiet my mind, actually. All right, moving on. That's true. You know, something like running I always found was such a mental sport. Yeah, 
it's not necessarily, well, of course, it is a physical sport because you are actually physically running or walking, but it's also a mental sport. You can focus on your thoughts, right? So you can call it a mental sport. She says, you have to be in the zone to do something, to run as far as you can, and to have that endurance and things like that. Now, this is very similar to, yeah, Zen, remember? Meditating, focusing on something, and also to be in the zone means to focus on something as well, okay? Without anyone disturbing you, focus on one thing. So she says, you have to be in the zone to run as far as you can and really endure the difficulty. All right, now, he says, you liked rock climbing, right? Remember, she mentioned that she picked up rock climbing, she learned rock climbing. And Rachel says, I do, but more than rock climbing, she's talking about what she likes more than rock climbing. She says, I actually really enjoy team sports. Now, Peter said he enjoys individual sports, but Rachel says she likes team sports, and she talks about what she used to do in the past. I used to play field hockey in high school, and I loved it, okay? And I loved just being on the field. So once again, to be on the field means to be out there and actually doing the sport, right? Okay. Now, now Peter says, just don't check me right now. Now, were you wondering what this meant? Check. Okay, this is a check, of course. But to check something means to do something. It's used as a verb. Now, in this case, now, Rachel was talking about field hockey, right? To check someone in a sport, especially in a sport like uh, field hockey, you are pushing someone, okay? You are hitting someone with your body. So it's, oh, don't check me. That's what he said. And she explains about the sport. She says, we don't check. We don't check. We don't hit each other with our body, okay? It's not an aggressive sport. She says, it's a very graceful sport, okay? A graceful sport meaning it is not violent. It is not... I guess, too aggressive of a sport. And she says, so you're not supposed to be that physical, meaning be that violent or aggressive. Once again, it's not physical at all. Never, it's not physical. And she says, but I really, really enjoy playing field hockey and just playing as a team. So what does this tell you? She says she enjoys playing as a team, meaning she enjoys playing sports with people, competing against a different team with people. All right, let's move on. Now, she says that was my favorite part, so it was really good. But the reason why you can't really do a lot of team sports is, you said, because you are kind of busy all the time. She's talking about how busy Peter is. And he says, yeah. So it's kind of nice to do that individual sport, right? Remember, individual sport versus team sport when you have time to go out and run and bike, like you said. So these are individual sports that Peter enjoys, right? Running and even just going out to get some air or even biking on his own. Now he says, and yoga, aha, this is one good one. I used to be religious about doing yoga. Religion, we all know what that is. Be religious means we have a certain belief. But in this case, if you say you are religious about something like a sport or an activity, you are saying that you are really focused on it, you are serious about it. So from this sentence, we can tell that Peter is saying yoga, I used to be religious about doing yoga. He is saying, I used to do yoga all the time. I used to be really serious about it. I used to be really into yoga. All right, got it? Okay. Now, he says Bikram, the hot yoga. I believe there are different kinds of or types of yogas, but there's Bikram. Okay, that's a type of yoga. And he says it really kind of helped me with my core. That's also uh, talking about how he could focus on things and winter training for summer activities. Now, so Rachel asks one more time, so you did it religiously, you said. Also, you said, yeah, I was religious about something. You could also do something religiously. 
I did yoga religiously means, that's right, you were really into yoga. So she asks that question and Peter said, yeah, for a few months in the winter and it really helped me out. And he advises that she tries yoga. You should try yoga sometime. And Rachel says, I want to try yoga. Uh, I've tried yoga myself. It's great. It's very difficult. If you haven't tried it, you may not know how uh, great of an exercise it is, but some people may think, yoga? How is a guy supposed to do that? But I've seen plenty of guys doing yoga. It's really good for your mental health because it helps you meditate, focus on your thoughts, your inner core, and you sweat a lot. Believe it or not, it's great exercise. Okay, that was our actual talk between Rachel and Peter. Let's take a listen to it one more time. Now this time, take a look at the subtitles. Say, Rachel, I know you like to stay fit, but do you also like to watch sports? I love watching sports, actually. I'm really competitive, so when I'm watching sports like baseball or soccer on TV, mm -hmm. I'm up at the TV, come on, let's go, let's go, cheering on like that. Mm -hmm. Do you like to watch sports, or are you more of the kind of guy that likes to play sports, or both? Well, when I was young, I think we watched, as a family, we watched the football games uh, on the weekends. Yeah. But my team has never done well. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the Minnesota Vikings. Okay. Uh, they're always kind really of a disappointment. Know. So I stopped watching sports many years ago. Um, and I would much prefer to be on the field than, on than the sidelines? sitting in front of a TV. Okay, I see. Yeah. That's cool. What kind of sports do you enjoy? I enjoy more individual sports than the team sports. Okay. Uh, I think it's harder to organize the team sports, but the main reason is probably that I enjoy time alone. Mm. Um, when I'm running, biking, or swimming, I can just really get into the zen uh, of the speed, the movement, right. and and quiet my mind, actually. Yeah, that's true. You know, something like running, I always found was such a mental sport. It's really, <laughs> you know, you have to be in the zone to do, uh, to run as far as you can, to have that endurance and things mm -hmm. like that. As and you me, liked rock, rock climbing, right? I do, but more than rock climbing, I actually really enjoy the team sports. I used to play field hockey in high school. Really? Yeah, and I loved it. And I just loved being on the I just, field. Don't check me right now. <laughs> <laughs> we don't check. It's a very graceful sport, too. You're not supposed really? to be that physical. Mm. It's not physical at all. But I really, really enjoy uh, playing field hockey and just playing as a team. That was my favorite part. So mm -hmm. it was really good. But... The reason why you can't really do a lot of team sports is, you said, because you're kind of busy all the time, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of nice to do that individual sport when you have time to go out and run and bike, like you said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in yoga, I used to be religious about doing yoga. Oh, really? Uh, Bikram, the hot yoga. Yeah. Uh, it really kind of helped me with my core and my winter training oh. for, uh, you know, summer activities. Yes. <laughs> So you did it religiously, you said? Yeah, for a few months in the winter, and uh, it really helped me out. You oh, should try yoga sometime. I want to try yoga. Now it's time for today's actual expressions. Before we take a look at some useful expressions you can make use of when you are having a conversation about sports or doing an interview, let's take a look at some tips. Uh, I had a question on our homepage about when you use play, go, or do when it comes to talking about sports. So let's take a look, all right? Now, when do you use play? Use play for sports that use a ball or puck or if it is a team sport, okay? Such as basketball, badminton, baseball, soccer, golf, and tennis. Now these are games, of course they are team sports. Some are, not all of them, but you of course Play with a ball. So here is an example sentence. You can say, I play tennis every chance I get. I play tennis. Okay? Use play when? When you use a ball, puck, or when it is a team sport. All right. Now, this time, let's take a look at sports that you can use go to talk about. So use go or nothing at all for sports that end in ing or gerunds. Gerunds basically are uh, words such as this. For example, swim, swimming, swim or swimming. It can be both a noun and of used as a verb. So in this case, you can say swim, swimming, 
fish, fishing, skate, skating, or ski, skiing. Now, use go for these sports. There is no to between go and the sport, okay? For example, you say, I go swimming. You never say, I go to swimming. So keep these tips in mind. All right, for example, you can say, do you ski? I love to go skiing. Okay, we're using go. I run every day. Do you go running? Here's an ing. What about this one? Wakeboard, wakeboarding, right? But let's change it to he. You can say I wakeboard or I go wakeboarding, but he wakeboards every weekend, okay? Moving on to the next group. Use do for sports that do not use a ball. So if this sport, you don't need a ball, use do. For example, yoga, aerobics, martial arts. Martial arts, I'm talking about judo, taekwondo, things like that. They're all martial arts. All right, I do yoga every morning. I do yoga every morning. Joe has been doing taekwondo for eight years now. Okay, keep this in mind, yoga, aerobics, martial arts, sports that do not use a ball, you normally use do with them, okay? Now let's take a look at some expressions. If you're good at sports, you can say, I think I'm naturally gifted athlete. A naturally gifted means you are born with the gift. You are very, very good at it. You've been good at something since you were little, okay? so. I think I am a naturally gifted athlete. You can also say, I'm a born athlete. I was born to be an athlete, meaning you're really, really good at sports. One more, I'm very athletic. I'm sure you know this. So these are basically very similar expressions you can use when you're talking about how good you are at sports. What about if you're bad at sports? I'm not much of a sports person. This could mean that you don't like sports, and it can also mean that you are not good at sports. So if you're bad at sports, try saying that, I'm not much of a sports person, okay? I'm not very coordinated, so I don't play any sports. I'm not coordinated, which means mm, your mind, your hands, and your feet, they go everywhere separately, okay? They don't work as you want them to work, so, Coordinate means to be balanced, right? So you're saying your hands and feet and mind, they're not balanced. You're terrible at sports. I don't play, but I catch every ball game on TV during the baseball season. Now, catcher does not mean to catch a ball. It means to watch something, okay? So you catch a ball game, meaning baseball game, for example, on TV every season. All right, so season means uh, I guess the baseball season is coming up very soon, right? Mm, so you will be glued to the TV catching baseball games. Now, talk about sports you enjoy, okay? I'm really into wakeboarding. I'm really into swimming. Be into something, sport, I-N-G. Remember that pattern. I can't get enough of it. This expression, I cannot get enough of it, meaning um, no matter how many times I do it, no matter how much of it I get, I never get sick or bored of it. I can keep on doing it. In that case, you can say, I can't get enough of it. it. Means you really, really love it. I'm addicted to, you're hooked on something. You're addicted to golf. You're addicted to baseball, meaning I love golf. I love baseball. I either watch or play it whenever I get the chance. And so whenever you get the chance, Every time possible, you watch it or play it. Now, also talk about sports you enjoy. You can say, I've been playing hockey or squash for as long as I can remember. The four can be omitted. It can be there or you can take it out. But for as long as I can remember means for a very, very long time, all right? For a very, very long time, you have been playing hockey and squash. Okay, moving on to one more. I'm a huge baseball fan, meaning you really enjoy baseball, whether you like to play it or watch it. I can't wait till the season kicks off. This is easy to be a fan of something, but a season can kick off, meaning it can start. So the baseball season just kicked off, meaning the baseball season just started. 
these ball teams are starting to play against each other. All right. So, so far, we've talked about all these things. Uh, let's take a look at just one more. Okay. I love the blank, the blank feeling after playing an intense game of badminton or soccer. I love the refreshing. I love the invigorating, the very thrilling, energetic feeling after playing an intense game of badminton or soccer. Also talk about the kind of feeling you get after or when you play a certain port, sport, okay? Okay, that about does it for our actual expressions, everyone. Let's take a listen to the actual talk one more time. Say, Rachel, I know you like to stay fit, but do you also like to watch sports? I love watching sports, actually. I'm really competitive, so when I'm watching sports like baseball or soccer on TV, mm -hmm. I'm up at the TV, come on, let's go, let's go, cheering on like that. Mm -hmm. Do you like to watch sports, or are you more of the kind of guy that likes to play sports, or both? Well, when I was young, I think we watched, as a family, we watched the football games uh, on the weekends. Yeah. But my team has never done well. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the Minnesota Vikings. Okay. And they're always kind really of a know. disappointment. So I stopped watching sports many years ago. Um, and I would much prefer to be on the field than, on than the sitting in front of a TV. Okay, I see. Yeah. That's cool. What kind of sports do you enjoy? I enjoy more individual sports than the team sports. Okay. Uh, I think it's harder to organize the team sports, but the main reason is probably that I enjoy time alone. Mm. Um, when I'm running, biking, or swimming, I can just really get into the zen uh, of the speed, the movement, right. and and quiet my mind, actually. Yeah, that's true. You know, something like running, I always found was such a mental sport. It's really, <laughs> you know, you have to be in the zone to do, uh, to run as far as you can, to have that endurance and things mm -hmm. like that. As and you liked rock, rock climbing, right? I do, but more than rock climbing, I actually really enjoy the team sports. I used to play field hockey in high school. Really? Yeah, and I loved it. And I just loved being on the I just field. Don't check me right now. <laughs> <laughs> we don't check. It's a very graceful sport, too. You're not supposed really? to be that physical. Mm. It's not physical at all. But I really, really enjoy uh, playing field hockey and just playing as a team. That was my favorite part. So mm. it was really good. But... The reason why you can't really do a lot of team sports is, you said, because you're kind of busy all the time, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of nice to do that individual sport when you have time to go out and run and bike, like you said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in yoga, I used to be religious about doing yoga. Oh, really? Uh, Bikram, the hot yoga. Yeah. Uh, it really kind of helped me with my core and my winter training oh. for, uh, you know, summer activities. Yes. <laughs> So you did it religiously, you said? Yeah, for a few months in the winter, and uh, it really helped me out. You oh, should try yoga sometime. I want to try yoga. Have you heard of this expression? Play ball. Play ball. Of course, it means to play baseball in most cases. It means to play a certain sport that requires a ball. Now, there is another idiom I have selected for you all today to kind of learn. It is related to a sport or sports. It is get the ball rolling. Now, what does this mean? Get the ball rolling. Get the ball rolling. Here is a sentence. Let's not waste any more time thinking and get the ball rolling. Let's not waste any more time thinking and get the ball rolling. The definition is It can be anything. Not necessarily just work, but it means to start something, to begin something. Here is another sample example using get the ball rolling. It is, I got the ball rolling by sending out some emails. It means you began doing something by sending out emails. Okay, everyone, hope you enjoyed today's idiom. Make use of it on your own in the future. What type of sports do you enjoy? When did you start playing them? Who do you often play with? Describe in detail what they are and why you would like them. I usually enjoy playing lacrosse and I played lacrosse since I was in high school. I usually play them with my friends because most of my friends from high school, they play lacrosse. And 
lacrosse is a very exciting game, but it's not that famous in Korea. But in America, a lot of students play lacrosse from middle school, high school, and until university. Um, lacrosse is a very dynamic game, so it's both fun and dangerous. It's fun in that it's very exciting. You have to pass the ball, throw the ball, um, put the ball into the goal. But the bad thing is that it's really dangerous. The stick also says that, it's, that you can kill someone, so it's very dangerous. You always have to be careful. But still, it's very fun that you get to meet a lot of people and you need a lot of teamwork in order to play well in the game. So it's both very exciting, but at the same time dangerous. So you have to always remember that you have to be careful. But still, I love playing lacrosse because it's very fun and dynamic. Well, I was very impressed. It was very difficult for me to choose what to choose for our oopsies for today. But uh, yeah, in our interview today, she talked about lacrosse. If you are not familiar about the sport, basically it is a sport where uh, I think 10 members play on a certain team. We have two teams playing against each other and the main goal is to get the small uh, ball into the opponent's or the other team's goal. And they play with a stick, also called a cross, which has a basket at the end. It's used for either catching or throwing the ball. And yeah, let's take a look at what she said in the actual interview. It's not that famous in Korea, but in America, a lot of students play lacrosse, it's the name of the sport, from middle school, high school, and until university. She's talking about how popular or how people enjoy playing the sport. Job well done. Another one, lacrosse is a very dynamic game. Yeah, talk about the sport explain to people about the sport. It's very dynamic, it's very energetic, okay? Full of energy, it's exciting. So it's both fun and dangerous. Now moving on to some oopsies. Now, she said, I usually play them with my friends. Hmm. Maybe she was a bit nervous, I think, but yeah, she was talking about lacrosse. So it should be, I usually play it with my friends, right? We're talking about lacrosse, so you wouldn't say I play them, you would say I play lacrosse. I play it with my friends. Taking a look at another oopsie, the bad thing is that it's really dangerous. The stick also says that it's that you can kill someone. Uh, she's talking about how dangerous this sport can be, but this part, the stick says, the stick is not talking, right? I think she meant, it said that. People say that you can kill someone with the stick. You can also say people, or they say that you can kill someone with the stick. So the idea is, yeah, how it can actually be very dangerous. But you're not saying that the stick is talking, so you shouldn't say the stick also says. You could say there's a saying that goes, people say, they say that. The stick can be very dangerous. It can kill someone. Okay, job well done. Thank you so much for your time once again. And that is a wrap for today's actual interview. Now today we talked about sports you either engage in or you watch on television. If you're not athletic, you can just say, yeah, I'm not athletic, but I enjoy watching sports on television. You can even talk about the benefits, the physical benefits and the mental or psychological benefits. Of course, some physical benefits are it increases strength and stamina, but some psychological benefits of sports are encouragement. You can build your planning skills, perhaps. You can also concentrate on things better and it will definitely boost your confidence. So keep those tips in mind. Next time I'll be joining you back with this topic, we'll talk about transportation. So think about what kind of transportation you make use of on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. That is all for today, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Keep on posting those comments and posts on our homepage. I'll try to get to them as many times as possible and reply. All right. Well, thank you for being part of us today. We'll catch you again soon. Bye for now.